Yeah, we basically bought our house and realized that we had made a <laughs> huge mistake. <laughs> we still don't know if and when we're gonna be settling down, but this has been an incredible experience even yeah. for just one year so far. Hi, we're Josh and Bryn, and this is Josie Frank, yeah. our van. Come on inside. All right, welcome inside the van. We are at the kitchen. So this is a black walnut slab uh, for our countertop and uh, we stained it ourselves and then we did this epoxy job. So yeah, we have all electric um, for our appliances, um, no propane. We have two burner induction cooktop stove. Um, like it definitely draws a lot of power, but we kind of knew that going into it from everything we read. So um, we went really beefy with like the solar and batteries. So like it definitely is kind of a behemoth, but like it gets the job done. It heats water in like a minute. Um, so it's really efficient. So we have an undermounted fridge. It's kind of like set underneath the, um, the countertop here. It's on like drawer slides, so it slides right out. Um, it's always plugged in. It's a winter fridge. It's kind of like <laughs> off brand, but it does the job. Um, so we have some under, you know, overhead and underhead lights. Um, our water pump switches right here. Um, so we have an undermounted sink top with the uh, removable chopping block. We know we wanted to invest a lot in the kitchen because we do a lot of cooking. So just wanted to have like a nice appliance and you know make that kind of an accent for you know for our space. So, but yeah, I mean overall pretty basic setup. You know all of our kitchen utensils and this is kind of like an everything drawer. <laughs> Lots of overhead space. Um, just. These two cabinets kind of dedicated to, you know, all of our coffee and foodstuffs. Um, so this is like something, a harebrained idea I guess I had. So I kind of took this drawer out of like a cabinet from like Ikea and I just like cut it in half and then made the little hole there. So I just put my like wallet and, you know, other little things like that, but like pretty convenient, kind of nice slides away. Uh, yeah, so on the other side of the kitchen, we have our pantry. Um, so we built this kind of custom. It pulls out, it's on wheels. Um, Quite a lot of storage space. You know, we got all kinds of our dried goods and <laughs> a lot of tuna fish and whatnot. Um, so over here is the work area and slash uh, dining room. Um, so we have big table here on the lagoon mount. Um, we got this from Ikea for like 40 bucks. It was actually like 12 feet long. We just kind of chopped it in thirds and then use it uh, as a table. But yeah, I do all my work from here. I work um, you know, full time remotely. So this is kind of my setup. Um, got the AC um, outlets underneath, just, you know, charge my laptop all day. Uh, we get 150 gigs a month um, for high speed 5G data. And like it works like a charm, honestly, have had no, no issues with it. And then that uh, coupled with the, the Wii Boost uh, cell signal booster, we have pretty good Wi-Fi, like 30, 40 meg download speed. Uh, we got the porthole window. That was like a big decision for us uh, when we were building out the van. We really wanted to have something like that. So then we have overhead uh, cabinets, just lots of, again, storage space. We got like our toiletries up here. Underneath the uh, the bench uh, is like a whole bunch of storage. So we kind of put like our awning for outside and you know chairs and stuff, paper towels and all that kind of stuff, but lots of storage underneath. We basically bought our house and realized that we had made a <laughs> huge mistake <laughs> for our <laughs> for our psyches <laughs> and that we wanted to uh, just see more of the world and America even before we settled down in one place. We really wanted to embrace like the minimalist lifestyle. And um, so originally we thought we wanted to just like get a tiny home somewhere, get some land um, and settle down you know, somewhere. But we haven't really traveled very much. And, you know, we grew up in Maryland. Um, and so then eventually Brent came across Fan Life, you know, through YouTube and it was like, oh my God, that makes perfect sense. Like best, you know, best of both worlds, you can travel, you can live small. Um, so yeah. yeah, kind of from there it was like, how do we make this dream come true? Um, you know, we were just living in a, in a row home in Baltimore city and it was like, how do we get from here to there? And, um, had to figure that out. Yeah. We still don't know if and when we're going to be settling down, but this has been an incredible experience even yeah. for just one year so far.
So over here we have our shower. Um, I know this is like a huge decision in any van build. Like it takes up obviously quite a lot of space, but I think pretty early on in our in our process, we really knew we wanted like a dedicated area. You know, it's like I'm in the bathroom. So we have this Nautilus retracting door. So we have the full shower here. Um, we went with this um, FRP board, which was we thought would be pretty easy to like use. But um, honestly, it was like pretty finicky to cut, like it would chip and um, it wasn't the best building material to work with. But uh, but, you know, again, it's like functional, wasn't too expensive. Um, but yeah, I'd probably like upgrade and go with like tile or something if I had more time. We have um, a four and a half gallon hot water heater electric. Um, it sits kind of like under this uh, chair right here. And uh, we have a 40 gallon fresh water tank. We have an airhead. Uh, composting toilet. That was definitely an investment, but it was worth it. So the ceiling actually um, was one of the first things that we did. We kind of were stumped on a lot of the other parts of the build. So like the one thing that we knew we wanted to do was just put up like these nice pine slats and it's just a uh, quarter inch ply uh, underneath. And we screwed the, the ply directly into the frame of the van, which were kind of, <laughs> uh, if that's something we could do differently, we definitely would have done that differently. It's a little scary to know that your whole ceiling is just, you know, held up by the frame of the van itself. Um, we probably would have put some strapping and whatnot to like secure it better, but you know, hasn't hasn't had any issues so far. So. So this lagoon table mount here, that's the other half of the kitchen table. Um, that was an Ikea closet door. And over here, we also have um, our picture wall. We cut up some cork um, board and just glued that along the frame out of the shower here. Right now, what I'm sitting on are our benches um, that hold just additional storage space. There also, our plumbing is underneath this side, our hot water heater. And um, over here, we also have our control panel that has all of our um, electronic components and it's covered up with this cute little picture. So this space also converts into the rest of our bed, making this a full queen size. And um, these cushions make up the rest of that mattress that we just cut up and my lovely stepmother made these incredible <laughs> cushions. Um, for us. So we have a piece of plywood that sits underneath the mattress and these hinges here that we can pull up to pull out the plywood and have some lips on either side that live behind the cushions. We can pull that over, take out the lagoon table mount, and this fits into this bench and this table can fit behind Josh's work area and the kitchen. And then we have our full-size bed. We have a five inch foam mattress and then a one inch mattress topper on top of that. So when we do make the bed fully, it kind of like covers up those seams of the like extra mattress pieces that aren't combined. So we have also over the bed, our second max air fan. We have our dual max air fan so we can get a good current going in here. And this is another brainchild of Josh's, our uh, laptop stand so that we can watch movies from bed. Over here we have all of our clothing storage. We each have one cabinet. It's a bit tight but we make it work and it's always good to downsize. Even now we still find we have so much more than we really need. like you know, like we're gonna have to switch jobs so you know we made it work and uh you know we were fortunate enough there was like an opportunity but um yeah i mean yeah switching jobs was like yeah not not easy but like it's something you know we knew we wanted to another do. big transition so i do freelance grant writing and work with smaller nonprofits. and um yeah i, I work for a software startup company and you know in fintech um so i'm fortunate enough you know you can Kind of work remotely for a lot of those jobs but um it's not my like passion but it's something that makes this dream you know possible so you know it's a worthwhile trade-off here we are in the garage we have all of our electrical which is behind our mass amounts of tools 
and all of our water system is back here. So we have our 40 gallon fresh water. Those drain to our two 15 gallon uh, gray water tanks that are mounted underneath the van. We have one foldable mountain bike and one smaller folding bike. So those are both able to fit in here along with all the other things <laughs> that also live here. We took advantage of this space to have um, some additional shoe storage as well. So back here is where our batteries are. We have six Lion Energy batteries, um, 105 amp hours each, and then two 360 watt solar panels. I believe they're Duracell on the roof. We have our 3000 uh, watt Renogy inverter. We heavily relied on Explorus.life for all of our electrical setup, which was incredible. <laughs> So on our back doors and our sliding door, we have a lock here. So we can just have some extra security with the van. Um, we just slide it over and pop this in, and then we are totally unable to open the door or access that. You can't open the doors from the inside, so this is really for if we're traveling through cities or in an area where we want to just make sure that the outside is pretty impenetrable. On our two front doors, we also wanted to have the same security that we do on our back and sliding doors. So for city and stealth parking especially, we installed these HEO safe locks and you just push it in and lock it and it goes right in. You have to like cut a little hole for the ProMaster at least um, to make that able to lock properly. Shout out to Linnea and Aquila for their tutorial on how to install these. And then you just lock it and it is not possible to open the door from the outside of the van. We are on Instagram at peeling.out and on TikTok at peeling underscore out. And um, if you need a grant written, let me know. <laughs> I can see what I can do. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we do have a blog that we're, you know, it's still under construction, I guess, but we do have the website oh, up. Yeah. It's peeling out that life. Um, so, you know, our, our hope is that, you know, as we travel around, visit cities and whatnot, we can, you know, write about what we like, what we did like, and yeah. kind of share with everybody, so. Thanks for checking out Josie. Um, we can't wait to meet other nomads along the road and make yeah. great friends. I think that's like the most exciting part about living in the van is like the opportunities we'll have to meet people yeah. and make those relationships. You know, if you, you know, it's like living in Baltimore City in our row home is great. And like you get to make really good friends with, you know, your neighbors and stuff. But um, there's something different about traveling around in the van and you meet other van lifers who, you know, have this amazing thing in common and it's like you really can make a strong bond and it's like, it feels like the world's your oyster in a way, you know, there's like endless possibilities. You don't know where you're going to end up, but um, you know it's going to be good. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Bye! <laughs>